and that's how I do my um, train cam. Ah, oh, that's an interesting bit of kit. Uh, how does it all work and how is it mounted? It's just mounted on a pencil eraser. Hello YouTubers, today I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, a fellow train driver slash model rail enthusiast, Bob. Say hello Bob. Hello Bob. Hello Mike. <laughs> how are you? Oh, I'm good, thanks. What have you got with you today then? Um, I brought along my Western, um, which I worked on when I was early days at Old Oak Common. Oh, um, right. Brilliant locos uh, from 72 to 1976. And this one, one of my favourites as well, uh, 1071, which is Western Renown. Western Renown. I've got yeah. to say that word right. There she is, everybody. Yeah, Lovely yeah. loco by Lima. Mm. Okay, well, let's see how she runs then, Bob. Yeah, it'd be good to see her running. What were they like to work on then? Oh, they were fantastic engines. Being diesel hydraulic, um, they made a lot of noise as well, but very powerful engines. And um, they had carbon shafts and the Maybach All right. diesel engines on them. Let's see what this one's like then. Oh. Forget that. Somebody at the door. Totally ignore them. <laughs> um, I'm not getting any response from her. Ah. Hang on. I know she's probably a little bit... A little bit, bit plain, reluctant. A bit reluctant. She uh, honestly hasn't run for quite a while. So. Yeah. The old Lima mechanisms can get a bit stiff. Oh, there oh, she goes. That's it, yeah. Suddenly kicks into a little bit noisy, isn't it? But Bring her back the other way. That's it. Yeah, she's a bit of, bit of prompting, doesn't she, to go? Not like the old, yeah. not like the good old days. They, they're that's very good. Very reliable engine, I've found. Um, I don't think this one's particularly reliable <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> that's right, yeah. It's a bit of a... Bit of a thing, not, uh, we'll zoom in for the people back in the YouTube world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, oh, she's actually going now, which is a oh, little bit of a... Yeah, she's sort of a... Not what I'd expect anyway. No. Um, I'd say sadly, she's not run for a little while. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we take her up to my workshop? And I'll give her my one-off special Lima service. Ah, oh, that sounds a really brilliant idea, I think. Yeah, and okay. nice to see her actually running smoothly. Just so happens, I have my handy document to remind me how to do it. Um, there is a video already on my YouTube channel that you can find which guides you through this. But I'll tell you what, we'll go up, we'll do it step by step. And Bob, if you don't mind filming it. Oh, that's right, yeah, that'd yeah, be good. We'll let everyone else know as well. And we'll mm. see if we can make this logo nice yeah. and silky smooth as she mm. should be. Be excellent. Right, well, welcome to my workshop, and uh, as you can see, we've got D1071 Western Renown ready to go. Mm. I've got my lever guide for servicing, which I made some years ago. She's got a slightly different mechanism from the one in this, but it all pertains. I have got the IPA ready to clean. Now, IPA, great stuff, but it dries your skin out, it's extremely flammable, and if you mm. get it on the paintwork, your loco is going to go white. So there's your cautions out of the way. Mm -hmm. I will be using it in this little jewellery bath. Uh -huh. That's an interesting bit of equipment. Yeah. It just gets all the muck out of the chassis and the bits and pieces. We'll show you that as we go along. You don't have to use one of these. You could use a pot and just stir it with a cocktail stick or something like that. But this is, makes a quicker job of it. Ah, sounds okay. good. Mm -hmm. So let's get her down and get the chassis out from the body. Right, this, this looks quite an intricate bit of work here. Yeah. Okay, right, finally we release the body. There we go. Ah, that's good, cool, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh... So what I'm going to do, leave that in there to keep it safe so there's no scratches. Pop it up to the top there, yep. Oh, mm. there's the missing traction tyre. Ah. Probably in the mechanism didn't help things. Yeah. And here is our mechanism. So, so the first that. thing we've got to do is strip it down completely and start cleaning everything back so we don't want any of the original grease left at all. Right, okay. Rolling, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. To release the motor bogey you have to undo these screws underneath. Uh -huh. Which I don't think they've ever been undone before. No, no, never been off at all those ones, so... And the wheels look quite dirty as well. What's on the main layout? So right, these it? have got screws and we don't want to lose them so we're going to store that upside down, up there, out mm, the way. That's it, most important small bits, isn't it, so... And then the sophisticated piece of ballast we'll leave in place and just put that up there out of the way as well. Mm -hmm. These are the bits we want. So now we've got to start stripping it down ready for cleaning. Right, okay. Now then, because we want to take the commutator plate off, we're going to have to unsolder that little wire. Mm -hmm. uh, just careful and making sure not to melt the plastic anywhere. There we go, that's him off. Sometimes you find they've got a stiff bit of metal there, not a piece of wire, which is infinitely better. Yeah. I think I'll take that one off as well. This is the connection that goes to the 
rear oh, unpowered yes. bogey. Mm. It comes off of that area there. So, so we've good. got to get at these brushes. So they've been crushed down too tightly. Mm -hmm. uh, these springs will fly off and go into orbit, so try not to lose them. Yes. Uh, I'm going to put them in our bath, ready to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. and there's the brush, there's plenty of meat on that, look. Oh, that's so good, yeah. It hasn't yeah. had a great deal of use by the look of it. Um, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so just get that one, and they come out together there. Ah, oh, I see, yeah, that's good. Uh, they can go in there ready for cleaning. Now, the next phase is to undo these screws. Right, yeah. And that will reveal the commutator. Uh -huh. These are a solid little mechanism, really, but um, yeah. they just need a bit of care. See, she's quite dirty. Ah, uh, yeah. And with yeah. luck, that will slide out. There it is. Oh, ah, so there's, yeah. there's your armature. Mm -hmm. Three pole. Sometimes yeah. you find these Lima ones got five poles in, and they sometimes have little resistors fitted here. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Never know the reason why, but never mind. Then it goes ready for cleaning. Right, okay. Now, ooh, ooh, there's the screws. Oh. That's all right. I've got That's them. Yep. I'm going to store them in this little tray here. That's it. Right. So there's your <laughs> bearing in there mm -hmm. for the front. Again, that's all going in for cleaning. Yeah, for cleaning, yeah, sounds good. Um, are we running, Bob? Yeah, all running. Right, yeah. we were going to try and take the magnet out, but you need to remove the wheels to do that, and we're not keen on that. And she doesn't look too bad. What you're looking for on the magnet is any bits of metal that have become stuck to the inside. Mm -hmm. Some locos are worse than others. Yeah. Uh, this one is quite clean. What we'll do is give it a rub round with a cotton bud. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a few bits, but nothing much because it can interfere with the smooth run in the armature. Yeah. But that we'll, we'll leave that in there for saving time's sake. Right. Okay. Right. So the next thing to do is to put some IPA in the bath and start the cleaning. Right. Okay. So this is the uh, this is where all the process starts of. Uh, Giving it all a good clean sort of thing. That's it. Hmm. We'll get it going and just switch him on. Put the lid on. And that's it for the moment. Ah. Oh. Okay, now we've got to strip down the gear chain. Now, as you can see from this picture, some of them here have little nuts to hold them in place. Now the only yeah. difference is this has just got a clip, which uh -huh. is actually much easier. It's more like the old class 33 motor bogies. Um, because those are very easy to lose. Mm, I should imagine so, they're yeah. really small, isn't it? Yeah. This one, it's just a case of easing him up and pulling him back. Can we see that? There we yeah, go. That's it. There he is. We'll mm, put him in there out the way. Yep. So our gear yep. chain is now free. Uh -huh, right. And so we lift all yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I should imagine they're quite clean really as well in terms of... They don't look bad, but what we're going to be looking for is the little moulding sprues that Lima oh, left on them, which yeah. is what gives the grindy effect. Um, uh, I don't know if you can get that through there. Yep. See, we've got a few bits and pieces to remove on that already. Ah, right. Oh, yeah, We've got to make mean, sure yeah. that it's dead smooth. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And also, if I turn him over, we've got the cogs, the final drive gears. We've oh, got to get them yeah. trimmed up as well. That's it, yeah, just really for now we'll thing. clean everything, get everything clean. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring back the IPA bath. Oh, sounding good and still buzzing away. Yeah, he's still so. buzzing away. He's working on the motor bits at the minute, which should now be ready for cooked and ready. Yeah, <laughs> ready for a bit of a manual clean up now. Mm -hmm. Now then, um, I try not to touch the IPA too much because, as I say, it will dry your skin out. Right, yeah, to something to avoid, isn't it? So, pop it into the other one just to dry up a bit. Mm -hmm. The bits that are highly delicate oh, with are the, the little uh, springs, yeah. yeah now, they on. are just going to go in the tray. Mm -hmm. They'll dry out on their own. Yep. Okay, well, let's have these brushes out <laughs> and see if we can get them nicely cleaned up. Oh, that's good, yeah. So, these um, these baths you, this bath you're using, is it, what's, what's it? Oh, it's, it's a jewellery cleaner. Oh. You can get them from a well known high street store beginning with the letter A. Right. And not having a lot of other letters in it. Right. Uh, here in the UK, anyway. Oh, that's good. So, it's um, easy to come by then. Yes, sort of thing. and they're not a lot of money. They aren't actually mm. ultrasonic, they're a, a concentric weight on a motor, but it has the same effect. Ah, oh, a bit like the old, um, almost like a shaver, it sounds, yeah. isn't it? Where it's going. But, so, yeah. that's nice and clean now. Look, let's say this, mm -hmm. I don't know if you're getting a good shot of that. It's plenty of that, plenty of meat on that. Yep, oh, that's good. Right, yeah, so, we we'll put him in there. Yep. And we'll get the other mm. one out. Right, so it's the same process then. Yeah, just give them a bit of a clean and a wipe over. Yeah, because they're a bit delicate, aren't yeah. they? 
Now we come to the commutator, ah, mm. and this is where we get a little bit more interesting. First yeah. thing to do is to get, we want that muck off there. Ah, uh, yeah, because it looks like it's pretty... Yeah, see it's coming. Yeah. Cotton bud time. Mm -hmm. And because it's still got a bit of IPA on it, there we are, look, all's coming yeah. off. Yeah. And the important thing to get just right is these gaps. Yeah, because they look as though they've yeah. got bits of muck in them. Being That's it. Yeah. So you can see that it's not been a great deal of wear because normally this would be very polished where the brushes have been running. Oh, yeah. And it's hardly yeah. at all. So you've got virtually a, a brand new motor on your hands here. So mm -hmm. we just go to the magnifier. Mm -hmm. And what we want to make sure of is that we're clear in these cogs here. Can you see that with a camera? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a case of clicking through with I'm using my tweezers, but you could use a cocktail stick. Uh huh. Just to make sure that there's no little bits in there, and that's fine now. Mm, that's so that's good. that bit done. Right, that's brilliant. Now, this, the front plate, mm -hmm. we're going to just dry them off. And the bits to be concerned about here are where the brushes sit and the bearing. So we'll oh, just give it a yeah. spin. Mm hmm. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Yeah. Try out the remaining bits of IPA. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you find they've got a load of grease around them inside here and that. But yeah. That's that's all smart now. Yeah, that's good. And just spin out in them, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. that bit done. This yeah. is your suppressor to stop TV interference. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this has had its time in the IPA bath now. Mm -hmm. So we should have softened any muck. Yeah. And we're going to start cleaning down the gears now. Right, okay. So Best thing for it is an old toothbrush and just start old cleaning the going between in, in the teeth of the that's it. cog sort of thing. So we're just going to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so we've had a good look at the gears. Now, trying to get the camera to show the little bit of uh, moulding sprue on these gears is impossible. So here's one I made earlier as a picture. Can you see where the red arrow is pointing? Yep. That, that's that's it. very similar. You're just looking for a little bit of raised plastic where it obviously was connect connected oh, yeah. at one time mm -hmm. and not been smoothed off. That either needs to be smoothed off with a bit of wet and dry, or what I prefer to use is a very, very sharp, fine scalpel. Uh -huh. But you've got to be careful not to spoil the profile of the teeth around it. Mm -hmm. So that just needs to come away. Right. But one thing we have noticed that I think we should be able to show is, again, these little bits here need to be smoothed down. Wet and dry again, mm -hmm. being careful not to hurt that cog the other side of it. Yeah. Because when they rub against the other one, that, that can cause uneven running. Ah, Just get it yeah. so that it's smooth to, to run your fingernail across. Yeah, so these are the bits of leftover moulding. Again, yeah. Moulded plastic sort of thing. Okay, now we come to the gear on the back of the wheels. Don't forget these. And brush it clean with the old toothbrush. Right, and what we're okay. looking for is, again, the little moulding sprue that you can probably just see there. Oh, yeah, see Just that, about. Yeah. Yep. And what you have to do, using the scalpel, is just trim across the top to remove him. Right, right, okay, you be very careful. Yeah, we don't want to spoil the tooth. It's not a lot again, but it's enough to make it graunch. Mm. There we go, that's it gone. Ah, that's good. And obviously do the same with the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we just need to re remove the oh, that's good. axle pickup. Mm -hmm. That is a prime example of a problem. See how that's stuck down? Ah. That should be up. slightly up. It's automated. gone into that hole. Oh, there we are, so he wanted yeah. to go. But yeah, anyway, just good. just make sure it's clean. Mm -hmm. So it makes good contact. That's it. You can see the telltale sign. You see the groove on there. Yeah. But look, no groove on there. Ah. So, so that hasn't been picking up since it was built. Ah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, clean up the axles. Obviously, we're yeah. going to oil these up as well. Mm-hmm. Because the oil that I will be using will be the Hobby Lube Premium Oil. Oh, right, yeah. Now that's plastic safe mm -hmm. uh, and it's sort of electrical neutral. It'll pass current, but you know, it won't pass too much current like some of the other ones do. Oh, cause good, short yeah. circuits, but we can put a drop on there and, mm -hmm. and it will run smoothly. Oh, that's good. Yeah, sounds good. Right, carrying on the cleaning process, we want to remove mm -hmm. any deposits from the old greases and oils that were left. Yeah. Uh -huh. From the bearings for the gears there. Right. Should find after the IPA that it all just comes away nice and easily. Yeah. Okay, we've, we've changed one traction tire. We're going to change the other one because it's one of the original old ones. Oh yeah. And they're almost brittle in the end. Mm. The new traction tires 
come like little washers. Ah, yeah, it looks odd, doesn't it? Yeah, and what you have to do is trap one part of it with your th thumbnail. Right. And then use something like, like the tweezers, and you've just got to go around and encourage it to go into the slot without right. snapping it. Ah, that's it, yeah. That's been there we go, delicate. he's on. Uh, right, well, that's good, yeah. And then it's just a case of evening him up so he sits yep. in the slot evenly all the way around. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. I oh, just run the thumbnail yeah, just to, down yeah. the edge. But you don't want it bunched up like it was there because otherwise you'll lump. Mm. So that's oh, two nice new thing. traction tyres fitted, so that's, oh. that's an improvement straight away. We've just cleaned up the inners of the wheel with a tiny drop of light oil yeah. mm -hmm. just to get that corrosion out of there. Yeah. and a cotton bud. We obviously can't use it on the treads because uh, that put oil on the track. So we're now at the stage of reassembling. Hooray! Mm, that's good. Sounds yeah. good. So we've got our gears mm -hmm. and uh, we'll start with these. They go face down so that bit faces down to engage down there. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then that little cog engages on that one and the big one will go to the motor. It fits oh, on that pinion there. Yes, yeah, so they've got special. Like that. Uh, and one of the uh, first things to do is to check it for smoothness before you put anything else yeah. on. That that runs quite quite yeah, freely. A little bit of noise because it's not got anything holding it in place. But yeah. And mm -hmm. there's no oil at all at the moment, of course. No, that's it, yeah. Hmm, perhaps it might just be it's dry, I suspect, is it? Or? I think it's just because it's moving about. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, so we can mm -hmm. refit the spring clip. If you uh -huh. see. Yeah, that's it. So it clips in and. So we'll fit that and come back. Okay, right. So we have reassembled the gears and with no oil on them at all, you're just making sure they're free and easy to turn, which they yeah, definitely yeah, are. Yeah, that's really good. So now we can start reassembling the motor part. So uh -huh. here we have the pole pieces and gear and the cam camshaft. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, dropped yeah. into our, mm. our own industry there for a minute. Yeah. The commutator is what I meant to say. And these old girls, they ca uh, carbon shafts. Oh, right. Well. <laughs> anyway, so he just sits in there like that. And then we put the front plate back on. Oh, yeah. Which goes underneath that, that pair of wheels. Oh, I said, oh, yeah. yeah. And we uh -huh. put the screws back. Ah, oh, that looks, yep. Yeah. It. Oh, just problem. jiggle about, mm -hmm. give that, give it a turn because now you know it's now engaged. So that will just make sure that yep, it's in it its does. correct position before we do the final tighten. Mm -hmm. Yep. There we are. So it's nice and tight. Everything's back in, yep. and you see you can turn it quite easily. And oh, yeah, that doesn't sound. And that's the motor you can hear rattling yes. a little bit. And there's no oil at all at the moment, but we're completely free running already. So oh, that's good, we're on yeah. we're on to the right bit. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to put the brushes back in. Ah, oh, yeah. And and this is where the springs always try and vanish. Mm. So one sips over the the brush. Mm -hmm. And then that little pimple there engages in it. Now many times you see these crushed right in, these brush holders. Ah, oh, that right. is not right. <laughs> no, they should be what just... you want is just the spring showing a bit like that. Right, oh, that's it, yeah. So that's it's it. a bit of movement. Yeah, yeah right, okay, so now we're going to connect up the motor and mm -hmm. make sure everything's running. Uh, I use these crocodile clips connected to the uh, controller. Right. And this is still no lubrication. So it sounds oh. a little bit rough. Yeah. But everything's running nicely. Mm hmm. And now we're going to begin the lubrication process. Right, okay. Right, so the first place we're going to use a medium oil for this is mm. one tiny drop between the brushes. Now you don't want too much because otherwise it will spread out and get on the commutator. Right, so okay. So just one drop in there mm. and you'll see him go in. Flip it over okay. and then with this side, that bearing, yep. give it a reasonable amount. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, it's, so it's yeah. soaked in. Then you want to do there. Oh yeah, the little uh, clips. That's it. And here. Uh huh. And also down inside, not on the cog, but on where it goes on the pinion. 
could probably do it with the gear off actually would be a bit easier but you'll just yeah. so that he can spin around nicely on his pinion a bit of lubrication sort of okay. thing alright over to the axles now very important to do the axle because we don't want it wearing the plastic ah oh, I see yeah and also yeah, it'll uh, stop that little bit of corrosion give, mm -hmm. give the middle one some as well yep okay so that's now just sparingly with the medium oil and then we'll give it a bit of a spin if I take my finger off the gear it'll go even better yeah so it sounded smooth already oh yeah definitely isn't it yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay now the next thing you can use medium oil on everything if you don't happen to have a gear grease that I do right. mm -hmm. so we'll use that next and the reason I like it is because when you put it on and then run run the motor it doesn't fly off everywhere all oh, right that's why yeah. it's good isn't it yeah. that's, uh... get a ticking over well, that's nice and smooth even at that so. and then just gradually start putting the grease on you can see it like doing a cobweb effect there oh yes it yeah you yeah. don't want too much but that's it spreading hmm obviously oh. that gear turns the other way yeah and then we do it on there as well. All right. I see. Yeah. You can hear it now. It's really nice and smooth. Yeah, it sounds better. It sounds a whole lot better, doesn't it? That webbing will go once it runs in. Uh huh. That's very and once that's done, we just take off any excess. I see a few bits there. It's got some going down there on the traction tyre and things. It can't be avoided, sadly, but we just clean yeah. it off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so motor bogey's finished. Now, don't forget your trailing bogey. Oh, yeah. You need to give it a good clean up and mm -hmm. lubricate the axles. Um, yeah. And, and that's it done, really. That's quite an easy job. Oh. We're not going to show that on the video because you can guess how it happens. Yeah. That okay. sounds good, right? Okay, some final steps. We just want to make sure where the motor bogey pivots and it's yeah. nice and smooth. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't Sometimes catch. you get a little git of plastic. Mm -hmm. Going back to the old document again. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. There's yeah. a little bit of plastic stuck in there. Oh yeah, yeah. That would be a case of cutting him away, making mm -hmm. sure that the bogey can pivot nice and smoothly. Yeah. And the same is said for the front here. Right. Just to make yeah. sure that that is completely smooth. This one's really good actually. Mm. It's almost like somebody's done it. <laughs> yeah, so I've never touched it. Yeah. But, um, anyway, so we're now going to put everything back together. Mm. Yeah. Right, so we've got the body back on, and we're just going to give the wheels a clean up just to make absolutely sure. Give her every chance. Mm, that's good. That this is the uh, trailing bogey, which obviously we can't use the motor to turn them. Yeah. Certainly looks uh, looks and sounds better anyway, Michael. It's really good. It's smoother silk now, isn't it? Yeah, smoother silk, as I say. Yeah. That's the old war train that I featured um, with the WD and AF oh, in the previous video. It's quite heavy. It. Yeah, I thought it looked a bit familiar that one. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yes. She's it's handling that beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Much smoother sounding. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. That lubrication working in. Yeah. And None of that grinding. That's good, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's doing the job. And anything it's missing is that definite Maybach sound of the old... Uh, <laughs> Maybach sound, yeah. <laughs> the old uh, engine sort of thing, twin engines. Yeah, she's got a bit of smooth running there. She's that doing seems that. very nice now. It does, yeah. Well, it's quite a... It's pioneer into a slow stop. You can just hear your one. It's getting a bit of that growl, a nice, mm. almost Maybach sound, perhaps. Yep, that's it. Sounds quite... Uh, anyway, everybody, there we go. That's the end of this video. As I say, previous video, I'll put a link in the description, 
we'll uh, show you how I'll go through this process as well. But uh, you've now seen what we do to at least bring Alima Western up to scratch. Mm. You saw how she was. <laughs> that was exactly as she came out of Bob's box. Couldn't run at all, hardly at all. So you can yeah. see the effect there. Now we have a really nice, smooth locomotive going around. Put in quite a heavy train. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers, then. Yeah, it's good. Right, so we've got this very smooth Class 31, which is in for a service. I don't know why. Nothing wrong with that. 